hundreds of thousands of years, we measure the volume of timber by measuring the height of the tree in the circumference and calculate the volume. In Cork, tree matics have cracked this. 3D version, you can put the entire matter grosso on a computer and determine the value and the quantity of the, and the volume of timber that's there. It's a whole new way of doing things. Uh, Treemetrics is an IT company, but we're supplying its services to normal forest owners around the world. So f foresters and farmers that own trees, they like to know, well, how much is my trees worth? So in order to know how much your trees are worth, you need to know, well, what contents have you got in your forest? So we're bringing 3D lasers to the solution in order to, for them to measure the trees better. We're using satellite data. So we believe that by giving forest owners and forest companies better data about their forest will allow them to manage their forest better. I suppose we learned a lot from, we got involved with IBM and they have this whole smart planet uh, vision. So that's, they have three eyes and one of them is instrumented, second one is, is interconnected and the third one is intelligent. So you have all of these sensors that's out there, you have phone apps that will take an image and you can measure a tree from your phone app. So we're saying, well, you know, get rid of the 19th century tools of guys going with tapes and, and models and embrace some of the new technology that's out there. So now we've developed this platform that a forest owner anywhere in the world can come select the forest, digitize it out. It's easy to use. You don't need to have any major IT skills. And then you can just input your name and your details with it and we'll give you the analysis of the forest. So you have satellites circling the globe every 30 days, so, and these, they're collecting data and collecting images. So we want to say, well, use that data for, for, shall we say, the human race down here on Earth. And that's why the European Space Agency has helped us. It's not all about sending rockets up there. It's about, well, how can you apply that technology to people's everyday um, lives? So that's the reason for the European Space Agency involvement. Well, I have to say, Enterprise Ireland were extremely helpful to it. Um, so that's who, gave us the first introduction and then they, but they do handhold you through that first process and yes it's, there's a lot of paperwork and there's a lot of bureaucracy but to be quite honest it's all, when you come to the end of the line every piece of it was worth it because you're actually, you've designed your product, you know, you've talked to the users, you're getting feedback and it's all user driven so it's not saying I'm going to make a new rocket just for the sake of it. You're, they're feeding back to, well, what does the actual user want from the technology?